Okay, folks, we're here today uh, for part two of the Living for the Outdoors video on the process of mining a white-tailed deer. Uh, the previous video was uh, of Craig's buck from the Living for the Outdoors Big Buck Contest. He was the winner, and I'm doing a shoulder mount for him. Uh, today we're going to do some little segments uh, for the mounting process. Uh, this is the second step where I'm cleaning it and it's going to be salted, getting ready to tan. So we're going to split the ears, the eyes, the lips, get the nose. Uh, so uh, you have to bear with me. I'm self-videoing today. Um, so uh, there will be some interruptions in and out, but um, we'll give you a brief description of the whole process of what we're going to do here today and uh, so we can get this thing tanned up and get this on uh, Craig's wall. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get started by splitting the lips and I'll zoom in here in a little bit. It's just a process. I use a razor blade. As you can see, you, the lips just like your lip. you got inside skin and the outside. So we got to split that because there's flesh in there. So what we need to do is split this down. I'm going to cut, leave enough skin that I need for tucking reasons. And it's just a process of splitting. I'm basically just separating the inside from the outside. You can see how I'm just separating. And I, I'm filling with this finger under here. I can tell where I need to cut. So I know that I'm basically going right down, splitting the two right in half. Now you can see, now instead of this, I have that. Okay, as you can see the cartilage in the nose here, this all has to be removed. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to get this lip out of the way. Lift this lip down. Now, we'll get this cartilage out of here. You can see, you can see the cartilage here. This has to come out. So now I'm going to separate it. And same thing as the lip, I'm going to go ahead and leave what I need to tuck into the form on the finished mount. The rest of it's discarded. Now we'll go to this side. You can see how that's separating that. Okay, now you can see here's your nostrils are over here, and I'm getting rid of all this cartilage here. Okay, now I got that cartilage out of there. Now what I'll do is we'll go ahead and start opening up the thickness here. You got to get all the flesh. You could feel the thickness with your finger. We'll start getting this nostril cleaned up. Then like I said, I'll do the whole area of the nose. The lips, the eyes will all be done with a pair of scissors so I can actually trim around the, the whisker butts. You don't want to have a deer with uh, no whiskers. So now you can see I'm ready to start trimming now with the scissors on that area. So now we'll go through here, we'll get rid of all this other excess skin. I only need 
eighth inch, quarter inch at the most of this skin for tucking purposes. The, the form will be slotted, and this is what's going to go in the uh, in the slot. It'll all tuck in, and then that locks in when it dries. And you just go around the whole lip and separate. It's the same process. Okay, now that everything's split down, I'm going to go with the scissors. I use these little Fisker scissors because I can really get into the detail. And I do it by hand. I do about an inch around the nose, the eyes. Then I can get to rest with the machine. But like I said before, you got to really be careful. You start cutting into your whiskers. You're not going to have any. Customers aren't very happy they pick up a deer with no whiskers on it. Zoom in a little closer here. You can see where every whisker is here. I don't know if you can see it on there, but you can see here, here, here. And that's what you got to trim around. That's why you do the hand work. As I'm trimming, I'm going around all those whiskers. That way we're not going to lose them. There, you can see the, the whisker butts here coming out. So we'll do both sides of this. And then we'll, uh, we'll move on to the splitting the eyes. Okay, now that we, uh, we got it all trimmed up around the nose and the lip area, you can see it's all nice and clean, about an inch from everything. So when I run it on my machine, I'm not going to catch any of the whisker butts. The nostrils are all cleaned out. Nice. Got enough skin to tuck. We're going to move on to the eyes. It's the same process. There's your inside skin on your eyelid. I'm going to take my blade and we're going to separate the inside from the outside so we can clean there. And then what we're going to do from here is I'll take my scissors again and I'll go an inch around this eye because you have to watch the whiskers here too it has whiskers around the eye that protect that animal when it's going through the woods it protects its eye it feels anything that's coming close to the eye So I'll proceed the whole way around here, and you'll end up here. I went around the, the eye an inch, cleaned around the gland, and I left myself enough skin to tuck into the clay. We're going to do a you know, uh, clay eyelid on the form, and this actually gets tucked in between the clay and the eye, the glass. And when it dries, the clay gets hard, it locks that in so nothing moves. Okay, I just wanted to zoom in a little here. As you can see, this I cleaned this side. And you can see where I trimmed around here. I separated the skin by which on this side, you can see the eyelid. And here's the inside skin that I separated which like I said this will be tucked in and that'll lock everything in so nothing moves on you so you can see that now I'll do the other side okay now that we got the eyes cleaned and split 
We're going to turn our attention to the ears. They need to be split down too. So we got to get this ear butt muscle out of here, which will be replaced with clay also on the mount. So I'm going to split this down. It's just a matter of working it the whole way down and to save time. And I already did the other side. And you can see the ears just turned inside out. So that's how I leave it till it's tan. It's all trimmed up. And I'll do this, and then the next step after this is uh, we'll get it on the machine, get all the rest of the flesh off, and uh, we'll be ready to salt. Okay, we're at the uh, final step of this uh, cleaning process. Uh, I'm going to clean the rest of this flesh off of this hide with this machine. It's just a little bit quicker, does a better job than a beam and a fleshing knife. Um, so everything split the ears eyes lips nose now i'm going to clean the rest of the cape and uh and then the only thing that's left after that is salt okay i just got the cape off the machine took about 15 minutes and you can see how it's nice and clean now so now we're just going to salt and then i'll salt it for the next two to three days and what that's going to do is draw the moisture out of the hide and set the hair. And um, this is one of the, the best things you can do uh, to preserve this cape at this point. Um, you don't want to use rock salt. Anything. I use granulated salt. Um, you don't want to use table salt. It's like table salt in the granulated state, but it's not... Uh, table. If you were going to buy it in a supermarket, you would want to use pickling salt, not your uh, regular table salt. And then what I do, I spread this thing out. I take some salt, and then I work it in. Get it in that high. Work it in there nice and good. And like I said, I'll do this for the next two days, three days. I'll re-salt. Then we'll hang it. And we'll let it start to drip because it won't take long. This will be on here for probably three, four minutes, it's going to be dripping. We're going to get the face real good. Really work it in. That's the best thing you can do. I can already feel this getting wet. I'm going to take this. And we'll turn this in. Hair out. I'm going to take this. Hang it on this hook. because catch the, the fluid coming off. Okay, cape's done. It'll be ready to tan. The next step after this is it'll go into a pickle. Uh, then it'll go back on the machine to get thin, and then it's going to be tanned. Uh, and then at that point, uh, we'll be ready to mount this thing. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
Uh, we'll continue with this series and uh, stay tuned on uh, Living for the Outdoors YouTube page for uh, the upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.